Hello again friends, Mr. Anderson336 here, and we are here with another replay. So, uh, back from a short break, back from uh, a lot of assignments, even though they see, still keep rolling in. Super annoying, nothing to do about it. It is back in school and gymnasium time, so that's uh, a... Not much excitement there. Anyway, we are here at the uh, Siegfried line, and... Uh, Yeah, we go on this flank to uh, see if we can do some deafing. Or, yeah. Well, since they have to ins assault, they, it will be deafing. But anyway... So, uh... Trying to find some shots on these guys. MC-25 wasn't lucky. Maybe tape 58 is more lucky and get our first shot. Doesn't look like it, though. AIL-44? Maybe? Can we get a shot on him? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Ah, T29, maybe he will get be the lucky one. Doesn't look like it, either, though. That's why I don't usually do tank destroy reviews, or re not reviews, replays on my channel, because it, it's pretty boring. Anyway, we refined the T25 and um, MT25. Let's see if we can hit him. And we're actually pretty lucky with our first shot and hit him for 362 on a full moving target and it's pretty... I wouldn't say it was that good aimed, but yeah. For a blind fire shot on the AIL-44. I don't know if we hit him, we will find out. Oh, we didn't hit him, unfortunately. So, yeah. We got hit by something. I assume it was the locks, not sure. We're trying to find a shot on him. But, uh, yeah, he's moving. And uh, we get tracked and we get power track and we take out the locks and the, we get spotted by the firefly and the locks. So yeah, we receive a shot. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. So yeah, I don't get how we're still alive. It's a small caliber. It must have been because of the... Uh, it didn't penetrate. That, ma that Nothing really penetrated, did it? No. So only one, only place to go, safe in the city. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're going in there. And uh, hello, Mr. M4. Let me just track you because uh, you're not running away from me. So yeah, we managed to track them forward, full moving. So that's nice. Second shot we won't miss, not in this range. Unfortunately, we low roll, and it doesn't finish him off. But we came to did that. One of our old friends wanted to get killed by a rush, and uh, let's fulfill his wish. Type 58, we shoot on his back plate, we lock it, we penetrate and with that angle. Second shot. That misses, the Russian accuracy comes in here and uh, starts playing with us. Third shot on him. Fully aimed. And we still miss, the Russian accuracy. Anyway, we can't complain too much, we have had a good game so far. This time we hit him though, and we finish him off, which was pretty nice. So yeah, now I'm in the place that I want to be, I'm in the action. I'm where people get shot and we can shoot them and stuff and things happen, so that's nice. Type 58. Second Type 58. We don't let it aim fully and take our chances and hit him, that's good. T29. Let's see if we can get a shot at him. Unfortunately, he's ready for us, and he managed to track us. We have a pretty good crew this tank, ready to repair it. So we can quickly turn our tank and uh, shoot on him, so that's nice. And we managed to finish him off. That's nice. So, uh, now only two tanks left, but we're hunting for a top gun, and I really want that top gun. Yeah, the Firefly is miles away. There's no way I'm gonna get him. Maybe the M6 is more settled, a good, more, a more secure target. So we're going for him. And the mobility of this tank is just amazing. Though we have to be careful when we shoot for the M6 because he is fairly... He has, if he's having a good gun, he can one-shot us and that will not be good. He would not like that. M6 
Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to fi finish him off. Anyway, that's game. GG well played. Let's look at the post-game stats. Okay, so we got Master Class 2. And we got a... Warrior. We got Shell Proof. We got... Fighter. We got Fire for Effect. We got a Steel Wall. We got a Spartan. And we got a High Caliber Metal. We got 67... 1,389 credits and 1,691 experience. We did three, we did 2,442 damage, 5 kills, 939 experience. We fired 13 shots, we hit 10, we penetrated 9. It was only 362 damage done from more than uh, 300 meters away, so not much, not much sniping in this game. We received three penetrations and uh, bounced 13. We blocked around 1,000 with our armor, so that's uh, the steel ball right there. We shot on six vehicles and, uh, yeah, killed five of them. We had to pay a fine on 42 for, I guess it was ramming in the start of the match, but that doesn't really matter. 44,000 after, um, <clears throat> we earned 44,000 after uh, repairs and ammunition and uh, consumables. I earned 1,691 experience, so that's nice. Hello again, guys. And we are here with another replay once again. I'm just fixing my mic to volume. And I still haven't figured out my problem with my microphone, but yeah. We try again. There's, no, there's nothing else to do than keep trying, and that's... It will eventually succeed if we keep trying. Anyway, we are on highway. Still in my issue 122.44. These were games, by the way, both the, the previous one and this one is uh, me trying to grind up my first mark on this thing. Uh, which exactly took me 99 games. I will not show the, mar the game where I get my mark in this video. That will be coming up in 4 or 5 days or something around there. I don't know how long the video will be because I don't remember how long the game took, but it doesn't matter. But we had some good games and we had some bad games, but I will only be showing the good games. As the fastest tank, we decide to go into the village. Because maybe we can get an ambush shot off, or, or maybe two, I don't know. But, um, here's the thing about highway, a, a returning problem for me. Uh, if you take a look at the flank, real quick, some of you might notice there's only one tank. Then you can argue, well, well, there's a Matilda in the issue 100 and VK 3002M. Uh, yeah, but they are not exactly on the flank. But anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> People doesn't really know, doesn't really like to go on the flank on this map, I feel like. Which is um, super annoying, because uh, every time I go into the city, no people go on the flank. Every time I go on the flank. Nobody goes on the flank, <laughs> except me, and I end up dying without doing anything, but yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. you get the idea. Uh, I don't like this map, if you haven't figured it out. And I definitely don't like this map for that uh, thing, because I don't know how many times I've lost this game because of that. Anyway, the first target we managed to spot is a Tiger one, and uh, oh my god, the mountain showed up behind, behind me, and uh, we bounced off the Tiger because he was side scraping successfully. But here's a VK, and he doesn't know what he's up to, so uh, hey, the mountain is back, and he, the VK fight returns a shot. Still a good angle Tiger right there, and uh, yeah, we doesn't really manage to uh, pen him. Then the third shot we fire at him uh, decides to go into the wall because uh, Russia and that I think he's using another uh, gun than the 88 millimeter because he would pen me a lot more times I think. But yeah, I finally managed to pen me and uh, I managed to. Pen him. I think it's the fifth shot and I pen him and he pens me. So yeah. I would say a fairly good trade here. Though. So the weekend comes back. 
They have a burst in this in front of the door, so um, we take him out the first kill goes to us. So yeah. But the, 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 again, this is real gameplay I enjoy. I really get, enjoy to get stuck in the action. And then people say, hey, then you're not supposed to play tank destroyer. Well, it depends on which tank destroyer. The Russian tank destroyer. The Object 263, I think it's called. It's having fairly good armor and you can play aggressive in that. And you can still get good results in it. And you can get flanked, so yeah. Oh, hello, Mountain. He's back. Really, the gameplay I enjoy here. I can just run around in the city with my big gun and like boom headshot and then fall back. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best way to play this tank, I think. Uh, being a bit aggressive. And DBM is great, I mean, like, you have like 6 seconds reload. Around there at least. You get about a lot of good games with that. Otherwise, I think it's 675. So, uh, more 7 than 6, but yeah, you get the idea. It's still tank is rally mobile. It's having a decent gun. The accuracy isn't to brag off as you just saw when I was shooting that tiger. But anyway, it looks like the flank has fi finally fallen. It looks like the flank, unfortunately, fall. It, it crashed or whatever. We'll take a blind shot in T20. We well, we won't know. We won't know before later if we hit him leave my friends in the city now because it looks like it, lo it looks like they they have got control over it so that's nice as the fastest tank i uh, decided to rush forward because uh, well heavy tanks are just exactly fast and uh, if anyone should spot it, it should be me right i mean in this matchmaking i have decent armor so i can't complain I really can't complain so yeah Still, I was but six cents just went off. That means there is somebody near me, but where they are, we won't know for now. Actually, think the crumble would camp in there or something. I mean, if he's using the bush mechanics well, he could uh, hide inside those bushes with no problem. Anyway, the T20 gets spotted, and we decide to go for him instead. And he's not very, having a fairly good gun. But uh, hey, I'm Russian. I can't. I can take us. I can give some damage. That's like a good threat of it. I really need him to bounce right now. Luckily, he bounces, and the KB2 takes him out. So that's nice. Then it's like Crumble. I think it's Crumble who's putting a shell into me. It could also be the Hellcat, but then the Hellcat isn't using the 90 millimeter. I think it's the Hellcat. I I don't exactly remember. But anyway, we managed to do, we have managed to retake the base. And uh, our guys have gotten into their cap service, so now it's them or us. But uh, we decide to set up an ambush and be patient here. We have six cents, so that's nice. We know when we spot it and uh, yeah. We can hopefully fall back. And uh, we fall back. We can't afford to uh, take a shot more. Get shot more. Still have a. Hey, we bounced something. And that's the Hellcat. So I can't afford to take a shot. I can't afford to get shot. So, um. <clears throat> what I would wait to do is he is. Yeah, he just took down the building and I have a shot on him now. We bounced another shot from him, but we take him out. So that's nice. GG well played, base is captured, and let's take a look at the post-game stats, guys. So yeah, that was a Master Class 2 badge, together with Shell Proof and Fire for Effect. Uh, 74,459 credits with 1,716 experience, a Steel Wall and a Spartan to go. 2,463 damage, 3 kills, 953 experience, 13 th shots fired, 10 hits, um, yeah, 10 hits, sniping in this game either, only 195, 
We received 11 uh, hits and only 4 of them penetrated, 7 of them was bounces. They didn't give us a steel wall, but I guess that it was a 1 to another player. Anyway, 54,000 after uh, repairs and ammunition cost. And 1,716 experience to go with that. So anyway, guys, I enjoy making these videos. So thanks for you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for you that you gave it the time and watched it because it really, I, it really makes me happy that you do. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a nice day whenever you watch this. Be sure to subscribe or like us, frog come and do something, so I can so I know there's someone out there watching my videos. Do anything you want, doesn't matter. Just you can know to my, me if you want to. Anyway, guys, this is Bismarck Star Anderson, and I'm out. Goon.